Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to discuss you guys a little bit of the overview of me mining Bitcoin UK and also how to show you guys how to set up a Claymore uh, mining with uh, your AMD cards and let's begin so here, here we add I'm at Bitcoin.UK if you, as you can please get on to here the connector miners are at 114 which has gone up since the last videos I've made uh, and the value of Bitcoin has slowly increased as we scroll down here this is my wallet and this is my balance at the moment this is how much I got paid overall 5446 Bitcoin in the last few days and my current hash rate at the moment as you can see here uh, it, my average let's go back to the one day here time frame so on the 25th down to the other 25th as you can see here I got paid one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine nine multiplied by five so about four hundred uh, and, and fifty per per day and it's not so bad and this is actually a little higher than I anticipated because I'm actually mining with uh, a GPU at the moment too and it's, it's, it's downstairs at the moment but uh, let's continue on uh, and as, as you can see th these are all my payouts underneath here and let's get started guys so you get click to get started here as you can see there's still two ports uh, 333 and 777 and today's video I'm going to show you guys how to set up a uh, GPU Claymore GPU miner right here and if you click Omega it will link up and bring you to this page here and make sure you guys download the latest 9.7 version and let's double click this again I, I did a video earlier but for some reason I wasn't uh, I didn't leave the uh, mic mic microphone on and it didn't record with a voice so now I gotta make another video to show you guys how to do this if I'm talking a little too fast let me know so uh, I'm not gonna say this because I do have one already but I'm gonna just demonstrate to you guys uh, and Let's click open instead. So let download and let me go back to this Bitcoin here because this is what we'll need. And let me minimize this here and put it here. I will, let's see, open up another document. Let's do it in, and where are you at? Let's do it in downloads. So I will drag this here. Move this here, move this here. I will drag this in here. And let's double click this. And the first thing you need to do is let me close this out. Is edit your pool. Yeah, you can see here this is the main folder. Uh, you, you see pool, e pools, and, and start. So, first thing you do is right click on e pool and click the edit button. And here you, it brings you to your, your page here. It gives you a little warning up ahead and how to, to if you remove this, then it activates the pool. So we're not gonna activate that pool. We're gonna go down here and create our own pool. So down here I put pool. And let's go to the page here. And as you can see, make sure it's a CPU miner. It's gonna be the same thing. Don't You don't need to copy the um, dash O in the front. Just copy this portion of it. delete this part and I'm gonna go back to the Bitcoin web page grab my wallet here as you can see copy this and input it into here space that and make sure it's the same thing make sure it's your, your wallet so you check beginning to the end and the beginning to the end and the password is always going to be X and, then you, and again uh, copy this portion right here this is already set up so make sure you file and save this and close this so this is set at uh, 333 I'm gonna set it at 8888 because I know 888 exists let's see that and let's close this now we go here right click and we click edit and what you copy space here copy paste it here and file save Close this, and now you just double double click it to run, and it will run. And let's go, 
as you can see it's slowly popping up populating and as you can see it here it, the main pool is, is uk.aa and here you go and make sure you define the GPU there's a description I'll leave this part in the description below to if, if I'm able to find it and I'll leave my version too but this is how you set it up and I'll leave the link to the to get it here too as well and also to the uh, Bitcoin pool and let it run and it will show you how much hash so I have two uh, GTX sorry two uh, RX 580s uh, four gigabyte versions and these are the FX, XFX version and for some reason and this claim one minor so uh, we didn't ask the RX 480 but it's actually a 580 and let this let us do do its job and try to calculate compute and let it run the reason probably the reason why it's giving some time too is because I'm actually also um, probably close by the account already nope not yet so I'm also mining Ubik at the moment that's the reason why this should be with a zero and this, this GPU is still mining let me close this real quick and demonstrate to you guys how see it is working once I close that program so make sure you click private and not public allow access and here you guys, here you guys are. So it starts the difficulty of eight thousand, and I'm gonna sneeze real quick. <coughs> okay, sorry about that. So the difficulty starts at eight thousand, and at eight thousand difficulty, the hash rate is at sixteen six hundred and forty, and this is how much is hashing. I've already submitted two shares already, but I'm gonna close this out, and I'm gonna show you guys that. Port 999 does exist as again I, I told you guys that 888 and 99 do exist but it doesn't show in their mining web page they have taken it out for some reason let's minimize this again and you go to pools click edit change this portion right here to 999 and file save as I'll, I'll leave this version in my my G, gmail drive and link it to you guys. You guys can download this version. All you have to do is go in here and just put your your, uh, your wallet right here. Make sure you put yours and not mine. And it'd be great if you did. Also, make sure to edit this push, this part of it too as well, and change it too. And let's begin with the 999. Uh, let me okay this. As you can see, it's at Bitcoin UK 999. So the higher difficulty, of course, in, with anything, the lower rate, the lower hash rate you're gonna get, and it's it's not by much. As I can show you here, and let's let the algorithm run. Was it S? Yes, S for show. So if you hit the S button for show, it shows you how much you're getting. So right now it's at 17.25. It actually went up. Um, before it, I was only getting 16, and now I'm getting 17, which is very interesting. But as you can see, guys, so difficulty set at 20,000, and I'm getting at 1,700. And uh, as you can, with two two RX 580s, uh, these are the four gig versions. And as I can show you guys that you can mine port 999 it's just a higher difficulty and let me show you guys too as well that my here is my XMR version of it for my GPU mining and I did set this to 9992 as well and as you can see it jumps up to the highest of difficulty to 75,000 I seen it go as high as 125 let's see if I can find that for you guys uh, right there so here's here's one at 100,000 uh, let's see and for some reason it doesn't show but there you go it goes up to 100,000 and it actually goes a bit more but let me give you the hash rate at the moment so and my hash rate for this is, is at 300 the highest and the lowest it's, it's, it's peaking close to 200 to up no. and as you can see here there's here's the 1600 and here's the GP, my CPU and my GPU over here mining and let's get back to the web page here and sometimes it might take some time to load and 
to pick up. I probably gotta run with this. Here we go. It's a 1.01 now, but sometimes it takes time to for the hash rate to actually show. Give it about a good uh, 15 to 30 minutes, and this will slowly increase because these are uh, are is the average of your total hash rate. And there you go, guys. And this is how you mine, and start, and finish from start to finish how to run this program with your AMD GPUs. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. And if you have any concerns, let me know too as well. If you like, please like the like button, and you know, help me help me here with your comments so I can improve as well. And I thank you for your time. And and again, everybody, have a great day.